Welcome to another video. We have two polynomials x to the 91 plus 1 and x to the 65 plus 1. The mission is to find the highest common factor of both polynomials. Which means you must know all the polynomials that divide x to the 91 plus 1 and x to the 65 plus 1, you compare them and see the ones that are common to both of them and then you pick the highest of them. Well, that looks almost impossible because I cannot make a list of all the polynomials that divide x to the 91 plus 1. But if we treat these two polynomials as if they were numbers, it's possible for you to know the highest common factor of any two numbers using the Euclidean algorithm. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to use the Euclidean algorithm because that's exactly what we're going to do to these two polynomials to find the highest common factor. Let's get into the video. So what exactly does the Euclidean algorithm ask you to do? It says if you're given any two numbers and you're trying to find the highest common factor of the two numbers, I'm just going to pick a random number. Let me pick 112 and another number, let's say um, 60. Okay, so 112 and 60. So what you ask yourself is, um, what really is the greatest common factor of 112 and 60? Well, this is what the Euclidean algorithm says. Look at the two numbers, write one number in terms of the other number. So, see what we do. We're going to take 1, 112, 1, 1, 2. We're going to say it's equal to how many 60s are in 112? Just one. So, it's just 1 times 60. What's the remainder? Well, 112 minus 60 is going to be 52, right? Yes, plus 52. So this is the remainder. Now, the next thing you do is take this number, not the number of times it... So the number of times it divides it does not really matter, okay? So we go, we're going to take this 60, which is this number, and write it in terms of the remainder. So you have 50, sorry, 60 is now equal to, how many times will 50, so we're writing 60 in terms of 52 is basically, basically 52 times one, one times 52 plus, what would you add to this to get 68? That's it. So remember again, you ignore the number of times that it goes, you just pick this actual number. So you write 52 in terms of eight again. So you're gonna write 52, is how many eights are in 52? That's going to be uh, 48. That's six times. So it's going to be six times eight plus. This is 48. What do you need to get to 52? You got four. Okay. Ignore the number of times it happens. Just stick to the eight and the four. So you're going to go, you take eight again. You write it in terms of four. It's going to be two times four. What's the remainder? Zero. You see, as soon as you get a remainder of zero, the number above the zero is your highest common factor. That's the Euclidean algorithm. Just to find highest common factor. There's so many other things you can do with the Euclidean algorithm, so many secrets. All these numbers have amazing use, but for now, we just want to focus on the greatest common factor and that's going to be 4 in this case. So the biggest number that divides both 112 and 60 is 4. Pick any two random numbers, use this algorithm, and you will end up with an answer. If you don't get an answer, you will always get an answer. If they're relatively prime, you're going to get 1 here, which means that there is no other number that divides the 2 other than 1. So now, how do we apply this? to this problem. Exactly what I did here is what we're going to do here using the Euclidean algorithm. Let's get rid of this. So now what we do is we're going to write, we take this as the bigger one. Okay, now when you're dealing with polynomials, sometimes you have to decide which one is bigger. Okay, um, 
depending on which one has the bigger exponent, just so you can write one in terms of the other. That's all you have to do. It doesn't matter which one is bigger. So I'm going to take this as the bigger one because it has the bigger exponent and write it in terms of this. But there's some trick, um, there's some trickery, not trickery, some tricks involved. Because trickery sounds negative, like you're trying to trick people. It's not a trick. It's just a technique. Okay? So we're going to write x to the 91 plus 1 in terms of this and see what it's going to look like. We're going to say that x to the 91 plus 1 can be written as, firstly, what would you multiply x to the 65 by to get 91? You will need 26, right? So I'm going to say x to the 26 multiplied by x to the 65 plus 1. Okay, now I'm looking for the, because what I've just done now is I have written x to the 91. This would be x to the 91. But this is now plus x to the 26. I have cr I've added more than I need to. So I have to get rid of this x to the 26 by subtracting x to the 26. So this is x to the 91 plus x to the 26 minus x to the 26. That's taken care of. However, I need a plus one. I need to add one to this side also so that both sides will balance. Plus one. But if I want this to be a polynomial, I might just put a parenthesis around here, but that means I have to change this to a minus because of the parenthesis I just introduced. So now what I have is, just as we did in the Euclidean algorithm, this is the number, the divisor here, this is the remainder. So in this case, this is the new remainder. I just now need to pursue the, the remainder or the highest common factor of this to, this is no longer relevant. We don't need to worry about this, you worry about this. So we do the same thing. Now, find HCF of x to the 65 plus 1 and x to the 26 minus 1. The highest common factor you get when you continue the algorithm using these two is the same answer you would get in this case. So let's repeat it. You see that? So I'm going to say x to the 65 plus 1 will be equal to, I'm going to ask again, what do I need to multiply Add to 26 in the exponent to get 65. That's going to be 39. So I'm going to say this is x to the 39 times x to the 26 minus 1. But what has that, that done? This has given me x to the 65, but now I'm doing minus x to the 39. So I need to add x to the 39. Okay, so this is taken care of. But... Um, I need a plus 1. So if I do plus 1, I just need to do plus 1 here. So now the two sides are equal. So I'm going to treat this as another polynomial. So this is what you divided with. Remember, this is not relevant, not important. And this will be the remainder. So now I have to find the highest common factor of x to the 26 minus 1 and x to the 39 plus 1. Unfortunately, the remainder looks bigger than this, so we're going to just find the HCF of both of them. So now, find the highest common factor of the two now will be, I'm going to put this first, or let's say x to the 26 minus 1 and x to the 39 plus 1. So. Because this is bigger for me in terms of polynomials than this, I'm going to write this in terms of this. So I'm going to say that x to the 39 plus 1 will be equal to, what do I need to multiply this by to get this? Um, this I need x to the 13. So I'm going to have x to the 13 times, this is now x to the 26 minus 1. 
but what I've done is I've generated x to the 39 here, but this means minus x to the 13, so I need to add back x to the 13, and I need a plus 1, so I'll just write the plus 1 here. So I can make this another polynomial. So now I have two polynomials that I need to work with, right? So I'm going to say that now, interesting, find HCF. I'm sure you already see the answer. HCF of x to the 26 minus 1 and x to the 13 plus 1. So how do we do that? We do the same thing. We're going to say x to the 26 minus 1 can be written as, what would I multiply this by in order to get this? It's obvious that this is the difference of two squares, right? It's going to be x to the 13 minus 1 times x to the 13 plus 1. That's exactly how you factor this. And what's the remainder? 0. And remember what I said, in the Euclidean algorithm when you're using it, once you get a zero, the remainder just before the zero is the highest common factor. As you can see, this is the common factor of this and of this and this, because we can write this in like this, and this and these are common factors. That's it. So your greatest common factor is x to the 13 plus one. Highest common factor equals x to the 13 plus 1 by the Euclidean algorithm. If this video made sense, please leave a like and leave a comment and share and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.